It is called an STD, it's a dysmania disc. Uh, I got my first STD in Sweden and it comes with me everywhere I go. Uh, I don't know about the rest of you or where you got your STDs, but I got mine in Europe. Commit to your tee shot. Uh oh. oh boy, look what, look what happened here. <laughs> it barely checked up on that. Did not quite find that out of bounds. Oh, it didn't? Okay. No. Uh, AJ with a beautiful upshot. He's got to finish with... <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't even, man. You're telling me, man. I don't know. I... It's so random. <laughs> oh, my God. This golf. <laughs> Never change. Uh, <laughs> Cam's... We got... <laughs> what? We got TV face himself, Eric Oakley. Yeah. He's either watching TV or had no idea we were taking this. <laughs> Continue that. <laughs> I, what do you have to say about that? Eric Oakley's in awe of the Grip Sick logo. <laughs> Eric Oakley saw a really big bird behind the <laughs> camera here, and he was just dumbfounded. Beautiful. Uh, Cam with the unfortunate double there. Bit of a rough finish. Um, a good finish for AJ, though. Oh, man. Poor Eric lost a blue enforcer. Did find it, though. Did he? Oh, cool. He did. So he was out there for a reason. Exactly. Yeah, no, uh, he wasn't just fishing. Cool. Uh, so All right, folks, we've got AJ Risley approaching his lie. This putt is for... It's for birdie, Nick. Yeah, for birdie, and it's about 50 feet, the final hole. And it's actually 47 feet. I just walked it off with my eyes. An eagle... And also two shots back at Kevin is now Eagle with his five under front not oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please make a gif of that. <laughs> that and, was outstanding. Yeah, Van Eagle almost gets taken out by a twig. <laughs> he just got cut from the football team too. <laughs> <laughs> he powered through it. Do you mind? Oh no! It looks trying like to AJ is agitated here. There must be some distraction. It looks like there's a disturbance in the green. Perhaps we can call the tournament director over here to get. No, we don't the need the tournament to director. This is you guys. You're literally on the course inside circle two on the 18th hole. I'm trying Jim, to put. Because I don't know. He's... Shut up. Well, I'm trying to make this. Wow! What a putt from AJ. Let's see that again, Germ. Yeah, you can see right here, you can see the anger in his eyes, yet he somehow manages to refocus himself and lock down the putt. A gorgeous hole. Um, 375 feet dead straight. You have OB directly to the right, and you really can't afford... And, ooh, we have a little dance troupe here. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Get it. One of the prettier flyovers I've probably ever seen. That guy's seen. doing the worm. Oh my gosh. And Emerson Keith? Wow. That was incredible. I have goosebumps. This is crazy. Okay. On two all last season, all I would have for breakfast usually uh, was creatine and like three cups of pinto beans usually. Uh, who am I kidding, guys? All I eat is beans, okay? It's only beans, nothing else. This is what I'm gonna do to you today. Ready? Idiot. <laughs> uh, hole 13. Yeah, just another real fragile shot. Like you have to push that tree right there with OB two feet to the right of it. So if you hit it, you're likely going out of bounds. And then if you hit the gap, you have to slow fade it up to hear where Jesus is preaching to his disciples. What a beautiful scene. <laughs> and I don't mind watching Ezra and Eslomez. Were you just flirting? Were you just low-key flirting with Ezra? <laughs> I think you were, dude. That's cool, man. I'm a little red. I <laughs> Where I sleep is my spot. 
miss you so much. <laughs> yeah. And we've got a handsome gentleman right. Wait yeah, for it. Come on, come on. There, there he is. <laughs> we'll try to keep it PG 13. What? <laughs> I'm going to keep it PG 13 yep. for now until like 11. What time is it? I don't got much time left. I literally walked over to Chris like two minutes ago. Like, There's only pretty much PG You got 30 minutes of PG 13. Hello, my name is AJ Risley. My voice is sometimes this low and soft and soothing. All right, should we start the clock? 30 seconds. This is Eric Oak. <laughs> Especially with Nico, we better start the clock early. Oh, 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 look at all those wood chips. He's just, oh my gosh. <laughs> Destruction of the course. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. <laughs> Ooh, reset, yeah, tree reset, distraction. Yeah. That's no worries, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> Nico, rocking these pants. I mean, respect. Those are dope. I think these pants are rocking Nico, really. Yeah, I agree. But... No way. A lot, of, a lot of players will talk about their swing thought, what they're focusing on while they're throwing. Mm -hmm. What is your swing thought? Uh, mine, uh, at least recently, a lot of it's been focused on a truck passing by. There's two red trucks passing by. They just passed, they just crossed each other. I bet they waved. Is that a thing? It's like, oh, you drive a red truck? I drive a red truck too. You want to be best friends? Um, did you even have to ask? Of course. Of course I want to be friends. I picked this red truck out for a reason. Everybody else had white trucks. But I said, nah, man, give me that red truck, bro. Bro, that's exactly what I said. The guy at the dealership was like, hey, man, everybody's got white trucks. And I was like, bro. Give me that red truck. That was what that wave was. And so I said, raspberry jam. I mean, that's one of the shorter putts he's had in the last, on the back nine so far. He's really been just putting his butt off. And it shows almost nothing left back there. <laughs> God. Oh, thank you, Nate, for being Nate. Anytime. <laughs> that's a course record score. And Fantastic. Screw you guys. Well, that's why they call him Loose Cannon Risley, Nate. No, they don't call me that. Well, they, they do now, buddy. Yeah, they sure do. Whew. Hi, Brother Knight. Tell me a story. I love your stores, brother. <laughs> Man, anytime. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, Big Germ over there getting his stretch on and then trying to trying to uh, show off for the camera and almost hurting himself even more. And over the years, Ian, we have had some epic backups in Las Vegas. <laughs> yes, we have. So much so that there was one backup, and this was about, <laughs> this was a long race. time ago, okay. where guys actually were able to leave the course, go to the casino, 
gamble Shut and then come up. back <laughs> and still continue their round. So, all right, we're back. Kevin Jones. This is one of those holes that, I mean, I know that you guys have had this if you've played disc golf before, that it got you once, you want revenge. Here's Kevin's shot. And okay, that is well, left, but yes. way better than last time. I think that's the exact tree that he hit. Um, but last time he kicked way in there and took him two shots to get out. He actually threw the night strike a couple other times this round, I think, nice. very effectively. Nice. Yeah, it's a good disc. Oh, no. Nate, no. I love that tree. <laughs> you hit it yesterday, too, I, right? I love or, that or tree, man. One. <laughs> and, you know, Kevin's got six strokes, but if anything's going to happen, it's going to start happening right here. Mm. He really needs to hit this drive. And he goes three for three. He said it yet. That's what you want. Yeah, there's that tree on the left right there that you kind of want to miss. Here's Kevin. Oh, oh no! Oh no! That's really crazy. release. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I remember is the most about this event, besides Nico looking like he just came out of a '70s disco disco club, is that <laughs> this was the event that we got the first ever Prodigy mid ranges, and we were. It's just, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a God, thing. This afro is so impressive. I can't get over it. I got it. We'll pan to her. All right, joining us now is Paige Pearson, also a uh, a swimming <laughs> Haley King. What's going on, Paige? Well, she just jumped into the water, uh, <laughs> shoes and all, <laughs> to get a disc that was only like four feet off the edge. So I have no idea. She was hot. <laughs> all right, well, I guess if you really need your disc, uh, you said now you have to run off in a moment yeah, and retrieve a disc to, as well. I might have to get her to go get mine or something. Haley, you want to get mine? Where is it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> This is the headquarters for the Professional Disc Golf Association, so all the PDGA tournament magic happens here. And inside, we have the Disc Golf Hall of Fame. Hey, hey what's up, Germ? Let's go, let's go. All of the top players in the history of our sport are honored in here, as well as we have the Hedrick Memorial Museum. Oh, hey, sorry, guys. <laughs> What? Nate Sexton, how you doing, man? Frisbee disc from the 50s, from the 60s. Famous disc that you can't find anywhere else. Hey, wait a second. This doesn't go in here. Hey, where are you guys going? All right, third on the tee, we got the German bomber, Simon Lazat, representing dynamic, oh, Jesus. Excuse me. A dynamic player uh, representing Dismania. <laughs> also the sixth highest rated player in the world. 1039 rated. Once again, Simon Lazat. Still playing smart. Playing smart. Not ready to go over the water. Full commit on that one. <laughs> Love it. It's a pretty generous sized fairway. But let's see um, what the approaches are on this. Albert looks to be lining up a forehand, which is a great... What the approaches are on this? Par five here on the back nine. Looks like that old... Holy what? Holy ground play, wind action rolling out of oh, bounds. No. What? What? <laughs> Or back in bounds. No oh, she gets the safe call. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh it's going. water. That's wet. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. What? <laughs> what? One more time, Mike. I'm sorry. Can't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> what? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, go back. Oh, we need to see him even walk up to it because this is. I can imagine you took point four seconds. Oh to this is less, less than one second. Why don't you watch where my head's facing? Like I just, I'm like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I just was looking at the tree. Like, well, I'm gonna hit the tree anyway. Oh my I've God. never seen anyone throw a disc like that. You're you're inventing new ways to suck. That's incredible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought I shot even. It was so windy out there. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, uh, that feels pretty good because is that really what I shot? Yeah, you, okay. you really shot 600, you're 1200. For I the saw tournament. that on shot 600 and I was like, oh my gosh, that's incredible. <laughs> Sorry. It is incredible, but um, yeah, so it feels good. On the fly. We got a nice looking throw so far here. Oh. Got a deer. So, and she noticed, she realizes that right here. Do you think it hit the deer? I think so. <laughs> Certainly scared the crap out of it. Just like a 10 foot <laughs> oh vertical God. right there. That is some solid. Oh my gosh. I think, I think yeah. the deer avoided it. Oh. He's had a long and storied career, and some people have their own opinions about him. You best bet Nico has opinions of his own. Oh, I try not to get on there, but trust me, I have seen that people have chimed in. But those people are just, they're meaningless to me, to be honest. They're a bunch of nobodies, keyboard warriors, trolls, online trolls. They're never going to be great at disc golf, and maybe they need to, like, stop typing on the internet and go out there and practice and maybe be passionate about something instead of talking Yeah, these Texas cedar trees, very thick. Uh, also, some would refer to them as almost a Velcro-type tree. You get anywhere near them, and they will suck your dick, disc in, and then they will not push back out in any way, shape, or form. We got Simon Lazat, representing 2005 Dismania. We got K Money, 2005-ish. Early 2000. <laughs> Paul McBeth, rocking the 90s in all its glory. Oh yeah. And do we have anybody who can play the 80s? Any old guys? I think we should make a. Yeah, we only have a three. We, we have three. We got, we got a fourth. Who do we know that's from the 80s? I, who was born I, in the 80s? Who's this guy over here? We get this old guy over here. <laughs> hey, you want to play with hey. us? <laughs> we need four. Yeah, I, I think he's down, guys. Let's go. Mr. Good. Nate Sexton, rep in the 80s. Yeah, I'm ready to play. With pretty much the coolest bag ever. I don't need a warm up. I've stretched out quite a lot. <laughs> nice. Let's do this, guys. Get down! Get down! Two meters? Oh. <laughs> we got we got K Money up next. Alright, don't don't flip yet, Archangel. I need you to be stable today. Uh, yeah. Dang, best driver. You, know, you never drove it that close. <laughs> And rep in the 90s. <laughs> this guy, Paul Macbeth. He's a three time world champ. In West Philadelphia, born. Oh. <laughs> Where are you throwing, sexy? Cobra. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this old guy's got some. He's unfortunately going to be OB. Here's Hooken. Oh, and that's high during that needs oh, to no. slow. Oh, my gosh. Yep. That's <laughs> the best thing I've ever seen. Was that my disc? Yeah, it was. Okay, that's why. <laughs> look at the. Look who it hit. Oh, my goodness. I was dying of it. You just definitely want to focus on your landing zones here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very. It takes. It's a. It's a two great shot par four. And almost a three great shot. If you want to get that birdie, and hook and taking <laughs> advantage of the tire, <laughs> giving the guy a shout out. He, awesome. He's now part of the course. He had to stay there until the yeah. tournament's over. Oh gosh, this is the final card. He's yeah. just sitting there all night long. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I'll be on top, you'll be on the bottom. I'm trying to stay humble, but I know you want to see me fumble, but I'm also down the road. <laughs> I am telling you guys, you are royally. Oh, four. Oh, up. God. Oh, my God. Oh. That was at the neck. Yeah, it was. You ever see that cheesy 80s movie where the dude. 
has like razor blades attached to the edge of his frisbee. Huh. Do you know what I'm talking about? They're at the beach. It's it's really cheesy. He throws a frisbee at this dude and he like sticks to his neck. He's like, oh, and there's like fake blood gushing out. Dude, I, I feel like I've seen that, dude. I'm, you had to have seen that. I know what you're it's talking about. It's a frisbee about. classic. I mean, it's obviously not the image we're trying to portray mm. <laughs> for the growth of the sport, but. I I promise you, on everything I love, on my father, I'll chase you. On your dog? On my dog. I'll give you to Jonathan. Go now, go! Yeah, I'll, you'll have that much of a head start, go. All the way to the tee pad? Here, I'll hold it. You're slow, come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, tell Jonathan. Go, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, he did that. We've got a chump at. Oh my gosh. And that that is a first and she is you know, it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> that is my job. That is my job. I Wow. That was a scary moment, folks. That was a scary moment. I have I don't think we've seen that before. I might have to get a little farther from the tee pad cuz if they if they're going to react that way, I might be in danger too. Okay, we're on to a bruiser here. The par 5 635 foot third. You see the mandatory tree out there. Well, whoa. Hold the phone, folks. That is a absolutely ridiculous thriller okay as i was saying the mandatory which is straight ahead not way to the right only texas you find that water burger picante sauce on the ground dude that's what i had for breakfast me too the oh whole reason gosh, i'm alive so is a, good the whole reason i'm alive is a water burger my dad and mom met at the water burger my dad used to manage really? one yes yeah, swear to god he's in the hunt for third closest oh. and he has taken it <laughs> But Marley Andrew. So I I think if, if if Austin doesn't make his putt. Let's see this again. Big the, time putt. And look at this. Nate Sexton Firefly doing its thing. Oh, is that a Sexton Firefly? That is a Nate Sexton Firefly. Oof. Glad Andrew's enjoying him. Oof. I think if uh if see if the rest of them can knock him down. A little bit high on probably a little bit on the left side for Matt. Yeah. He will uh, drop in the park. Oh my. What? Oh my. That is not what you want to be doing at World Championships. Oh man. It'll take a little more time. Did he go through the chains? Because no. he went with a driver. I, I think he just airballed it, man. I could be wrong. Game, but this doesn't look like a putt. <laughs> Not at all. What? <laughs> uh, I, I've seen that shot from him before. Well, he'll, he'll essentially kind of roll it up almost as if it's a burrito. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Please pick up. Pick up, pick up, please pick up. Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? Are these, are they busy? Come on, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hi, yeah, I'd like to make an order for, for pickup. Hi, can I make a, an order for takeout? 
Okay, I'll just have one burrito. Uh, steak's fine. To go, yeah. Ten minutes? Just, just a burrito, yeah. Ten minutes, perfect, thank you. Okay, bye. Cool. Anybody here do commentary? <laughs> What are you talking about? People love your commentary. He is the only one that's ever said I have good commentary. I He's just saying that I he wants well, a bad commentary product to be out there to make his commentary look better. It's called a fail product, and that's exactly what he wants. I I mean, it's like if there's a worse, pretty if please, there's a really bad commentator out there, then that makes the good ones look even better. Is that what your is that what big sexy's for? All right, AJ's taking a quick break. I care. Hole 13. Peter Pan Park. Mm. Great shot. Oh, wow. What'd you throw there? Uh, a dart. Nice. Great shot. There you go, folks. That's actually not an approved brand for us to be talking about. Oh, okay. He threw... Uh, okay. Sorry, cut all that. Jonathan doesn't even he's not doesn't even have a disc in his hand. Just uh, looking out for the pedestrians. Oh, just looking out. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to take another bite. Great shot, Chris. Yeah, ma'am tougher approach with uh, trees in the way on the left side you're gonna be dealing with ticks <laughs> and isn't that on the right side and the center side and all sides I don't know I pulled I, I went over here the first round I pulled three off me on the next tee pad yeah it's the, pretty extreme out here right now yeah if you haven't heard the ticks are kind of an issue out here but um, the the, the tournament staff was actually pretty nice they went out and bought a bunch of um, deet uh, tick deet or I don't know if there's such thing as dick tick deet Oops. Dick uh, Teat? Dick Teat, yeah. Uh, we'll just go ahead and say, I said Dick Teat. Um, anyways, uh, but that was uh, that was available for us to, to put on. And I actually, I didn't pull any ticks off my leg the, um, this whole second round. So it Congrats. was well done by the tournament staff to, to hook us up with. <laughs> what score you got, dude?
Yeah. Can you not pick up my? Can I tap in? Do you mind if I yeah, tap out? Yours. Everybody else got their disc. This is for a five. Boom, baby. Seventeen shots. Plus the strokes, that's thirty-four. Plus you were on a six already, so that's forty. It's a forty. Say your Boom. name. Say your name. Jake the Palmer and I just took a forty at an eight tier. Yes, she actually does practice that shot where she uses the long extension of her legs there where she sits down and then <laughs> ultimately reaches out and uh, look to be pretty effective. Double play we, we've been able to witness uh, in today's round. It's kind of looking a little shaky as we finish yeah, up. It really is. Maybe Who wants it? <laughs> could be almost inside the circle. Yeah. It's probably. <laughs> Cattle? Yes. yes. <laughs> what do cattles make? Cattle. Cattle. <laughs> what do cows make? Creamer? Creamer. <laughs> no. <laughs> Creamer. <laughs> Isn't there another letter? Yes. <laughs> Where do they make? Creamer. Creamery. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I am stupid. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll go out on a limb here and say I believe that is our first ever live broadcast game of Hangman uh, in our short live broadcasting career. So uh, thank you for that. Uh, creamery, apparently, the word, though. <gasps> you go with the hat throw. Definitely letting the frustration show. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they. No, never mind. Take it. Take it. I don't want it. You want that pioneer? Take it. <laughs> just, just keep it. <laughs> go get it right now. You go get it right now. <laughs> just because I kicked your putter once. <laughs> you said, <gasps> Did you get that on film? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody thinks Chris Dickerson's so nice. He's such a nice guy. Drop. 
Oh! 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 You said you were gonna get that stroke. Told too. you. Oh Dang my it. god! How in the heck? Good shot. Yeah. Uh, oh wait! Oh wait! <laughs> that form is crap, oh dude. God. That's the worst form in the world. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that you have bad form, dude. Don't insult me like that. He goes slightly out of position here. This is a pretty long approach. Oh, and he, he hits that backside and just rolls into the water. Jeez. Something mini flying. Oh, no, and he <laughs> smoked the mini right at Gatekeeper Crew. Solid putt for him. It's a little high. What, what happens now is just unbelievable all emotions frustration he smashes it down in the bottom oh my gosh and man well hopefully you think lesson learned idiot did not realize out of bounds was right here can you get your ramps out of the basket please all right i'll get them out You're the worst. <laughs> oh. I'm splitting the post in the tree, by the way. Okay? Yeah. Just in case you can hear this, it's gonna hit that. Never mind. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Road elevator, got it. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> oh. Worst hole I've ever played. Deja vu. It's a ledge stone. You want to knock that in? After. Yeah, you got it. Let's go, baby. We're getting, we're making up for some. Avert your eyes. This is kind of the opposite. Where Scott's was <laughs> not easy, but he made it look easy. Yours was easy, and you made it look hard. <laughs> the worst. I think, I think it's the worst shot I've thrown. I don't. I know that I've done worse, but I can't recall it yet. That I think that's the worst I've thrown. I was giving a lot of credit to Emerson earlier about his sidearm skills, but man, as Calvin showed up with his as well this turn. Oh! Are you so in? Oh, no. No. Oh, my gosh. No Ooh. way that just happened. Did he go inside the basket? Yes. No, he did not. <gasps> this thing is down. No way that just happened. Watch it go in and back around the no backside. No way. That is the worst break I have ever seen in my life, I think. That's exactly what I said. Oh. Oh. really phasing him he's in a good mood i've seen zero rattled moments out of him so yeah, far he looks totally comfortable like nothing's really bugging him nothing's <laughs> the, the phantom cart <laughs> comes rolling in for big germ that was the spit out for the dollars yeah wow it's just a routine now it's like it gives me a good idea whether i should go abrx3 or not yeah that was nice <laughs> this is like this is kind of blowing my mind because I, I took out this, the disc that would be straight enough to throw the shot the way I want. Yeah, That's nice crazy. shot. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. The last thing you really need Did out your here. disc just blow out of your bag? <laughs> I don't know never how that, I've never seen that. <laughs> Maybe you should throw that disc he wants in. <laughs> put him in. <laughs> you know what? Hey, you know what? <laughs> put him in. He's like me. Come on, if coach. If this works. I'm ready. If this works. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, I think you're loving it. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, it's, oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. A bit easier than it is this year. He's going to go with that high hyzer, and this is looking like a pretty nice line. Dang it. Oh, oh no. My Off the, oh, no. Get oh, my God. <laughs> Good thing there wasn't anyone teeing off on two that hit the tee pad. <laughs> he hit off the right top there. of the basket. Oh, That's not man. funny, but. It, This guy legitimately almost ran nope. over Paul and it's then looked the at Paul like he life. was stupid. Like, yeah. huh. I don't know why this mower wants don't to follow that. me. I was planning me. on mine being that. I get out of the bus, I make the corner, mower guy, almost ran me over, almost died. And now here he is, creeping again. Actually, 486, that sounds like a Thunderbird. Run over Big German. Gosh, dude. he throws far. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> hey man. Oh, come on, make the turn. Oh, just missed it. Did he just, Thanks. I think he just like legitimately ran over my disc. No way, really? I hope not, that's my Maybe best Maybe it's high disc. enough that it didn't hurt it, but holy cow. That's messed up. Did he hit it? Yes, I saw it shoot out of the back of his mower. Is it, is it ruined? No, he just scratched the top. Wow. I gotta throw fast because Nightmare Man's coming after yeah, me. But ahead, that guy's man. out to get me. I don't want to go right now. He almost ran me over. <laughs> then you want your legs? Can we have my disc over? <laughs> he'll run yeah. them over. I don't think he'll care. That's why but I'm saying you need to hurry. To go. Get out of there quick, dude. He's coming. Come on, Jerry, please. He's coming. Jerry. No. Jerry. He's coming for you. <laughs> right. Please. Pick up your disc. Move. Skip. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this dude is on a mission to get this grass cut. There's a lot of grass to cut in Emporia. Give it up for Kale Laviska. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. which we saw in 2018 with Seppo, and I just really never thought we'd see it again. Um, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, he just doesn't, you're not in a good place if you're punching trees. I mean, he hit the tree on the follow through. <laughs> uh, poor tree's just chilling. <laughs> just sitting there. I do really, I feel for him. I, the tree, I'm speaking for the tree right now. Usually the, the tree is going to win that battle every single time. This time I think the tree did not win the battle. <laughs> it was a fair fight. <laughs> barely, yeah, it's barely inside of yours. Oh, let's go. Hey, I'm outside of you guys though, so that ain't going to matter. You crazy. Oh yeah, he's way inside of me. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but all right. Oh, bleep that out. I set myself up for that one. He's six down through nine holes and local favorite, Jakub. Yeah, he's trying to find his groove. Jakub has this stick that is a hundred meter mark mm -hmm. just in front of him. Oh yeah. And he hits that stake. So Hansen. Yeah. Humphreys. Oh. I thought he was going to windmill dunk it, but he, he followed the rules of disc golf and made sure that he set his foot first. Yeah. Think about the lightning delays. You get to practice your lie. That's right. So the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> no way! Oh, wow. Kevin waited an hour to jump Dude. over. So oh, my sick. gosh. That was so cool. Oh my gosh, Kevin, <laughs> calm down. You talk about superhero stuff. What is that, man? That is a flying Kev man. Kind of at the very end of this opening is uh, really preventing Paige from getting that big hyzer out and around. Mm -hmm. She's waiting for a deer that's in the fairway. And we'll show you that right now. There it is. Oh. Yeah, I think he's he's found some nice grass. 
He's right at home. And Paige needs all the focus she can get, so. Thank you for Kevin. PA3, excuse me. Get on that bridge. Get on that bridge. <laughs> Asking you shall receive for Kevin Jones as he like He liked this snake. Calvin from Florida. Familiar with some nature. This guy's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> the best way possible. I mean, come on. Well, and speaking of competition, you had one other thought. You seem to follow a lot of the other professional sports, such as wrestling, <laughs> boxing, and whatnot. You have any call-outs? You want to take you, it there already, you, no, Terry? No, you I'm always want to get me going. You want to get me fired up about these people that are talking about me. We already know where that's going. I don't, no, I don't, no, I, don't, I wanted to ask I about... I dive into it. Twelve seconds later. All right, that's all we've got from Nicola Castro. Best of luck to you this weekend. I, Unless yeah. you've got something else. I, I mean, all you always those do. Come guys on. that are on the... You know, when people make a post about me, it seems there's always somebody that has something negative to say about me. Shut your mouth, seriously, or show up to the disc golf course and bring it. That's it. Hey, big germ. Oh, there he is. Yeah. He waved. He heard you. <laughs> we have a kind of a connection. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty incredible, honestly. You spent some time together, right? Uh, I want germ to go first. Okay. Let's, let me show you guys how it's done. All right. I will not snake you. D what is this? <laughs> Put the snake down. No. Hey, okay. Good, good luck, Paul. Good luck, Zach. Oh, that's it. Mantas. Fantastic shot. Oh, hit the rock. <laughs> oh, no. You did not hit the rock. Oh, you snaked me. <laughs> you snaked me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'll go after that. I, you snaked. Ask Why Paul. did my disc look like ask it Paul. actually exploded? I, ask Paul. I did not snake you. He didn't snake you. He said I. He said. I said he I said, will not snake you. Oh. Yeah. That is. That's dude. the same thing as snaking. He said cobra. <laughs> he said cobra. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Has anyone ever hit that rock? It's the worst shot I've ever seen on this hole. Like this button, tournament dude. since 2017, like no one has marks. ever hit that rock. Hole 13. You said that we were on the correct side, as in the west side of the Mississippi. You have a standing rule. What is that for everyone at home? Oh, you don't eat Mexican on the east side of the Mississippi, so we're barely on the good side, so fiesta. <laughs> all right, is that going to be the uh, dinner of choice tonight to get all geared up for the lead card tomorrow? Absolutely not. <laughs> what is? Mall of America food court. <laughs> I, I remember the, uh, the tirade that James Conrad had on this hole several years ago. Oh my gosh, I, I saw it the other day. He got so mad and just Yeah, he missed that he missed like a putt. That and was he went over to the stump two. and he just goes No 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 no. You did it wrong. He oh. he 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 wound up. He goes and then walked away. Courtesy. So upset. It happens to all of us. Oh, James. Who does that? Courtesy. Jeez. Counseling. No one even asked him how his toe felt. individual so for him to tap that tree <laughs> no oh, oh no. yeah no. <laughs> for a hundo <laughs> oh my god no he didn't
Sometimes that is an awkward stance. What is he? Ah. Uh, what on earth did I just see? What kind of military tuck and roll tactic did James Conrad just pull out to make that ridiculous putt? Josh had uh, some candies and he's like, hey, you guys want some candy? And Paul just looked at it. <laughs> he went full send on the commitment on this. He, his mouth just was just dripping saliva. <laughs> He won, so and he did it for like 30 seconds and his lap was just full of it. <laughs> I was crying. I, was, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> what the heck am I supposed so to do Did he get here? candy or not? Oh, he filled his mouth with these little sour oh, and sprees or I don't remember what they Like chewy sprees. Yeah, if it didn't work the first time, try it again. It Why wouldn't perfectly. you? Perfectly. No, that's good shot, shot, Paul. Wow. Good, good shot, Paul. Good recovery. Body to a baby gap on the left. Inside out, flip up. To another small gap. Oh, you suck, dude. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't hold it. I almost lost <laughs> I lost it. I'm sorry, guys. I almost lost it when he tried wearing his hat on his neck. <laughs> He threw, his hat fell off, his <laughs> mini didn't even try to catch. Okay. Game of inches. Shoe fly don't bother me. Oh my God, oh my God. He almost killed the fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Oh boy. <laughs> that fly was almost yeah, done, that, so. That would have been annihilated. <laughs> you guys know what four strikes in a row is called in bowling? In bowling? No. A ham bone. <laughs> Joel Freeman sitting on one right now. Go in. Jeremy Colling on 14. Oh. Almost hit the koozie. He's going to have a scary putt one coming back. My life. Nice <laughs> shot. Now, Eagle being as long as he is... Now I mean with like his arms and everything, like as tall as he is. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a biter, a scratcher, a yeah. win at all costs type of guy, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave you be then. In the scrap anyway. Unless you take over 30 seconds on putts today, then right in the face. You? I'll just take one, dude. I'll, I'll give you the first one. You better hope it conks me. Oh, he got it. That was 30 seconds already? Yeah, that was 30 seconds. <laughs> you guys were talking the whole time. I was distracted. I know. But Turn your f***ing bone off. Of all people, you're the one to rag me. What? 30 seconds. Uh, that's that what it feels like. God. Just, we just wanted you to know. That was 30 seconds. It literally felt like I took two breaths. I know. Calvin got me on a ring timer? I'm standing there. I can't even believe what just head. happened. <laughs> I still can't believe this. Good point. Oh, uh, that's awesome. You Is that know. the new thing? Is that going to be the new standard? I think you just set the new standard, dude. I literally felt I did not ever think at all that was even close to 30 seconds. I would look it up when I got five. That was like a 20 second phone. timer you had on, right? No. It, it was 30, 30 it's seconds. On, it's on film, like a whole 30 seconds. I even waited until you dude. walked up to Yeah, he me. waited until you got to the live. I waited and until you your got whole set up, he didn't even count. I didn't even count the set I literally just flowed into space, dude. <laughs> and I didn't even know what's happening. <laughs> 30 seconds went by, I felt like two seconds, dude. And that was, I think that was going to be one of your faster putts. That's what I called. I felt like you I were was getting close. ready to I think you were going to go, I think you were going to go over time. I was time. just getting ready, dude. No, I thought you were going to go like five seconds after the timer. Personally. It looked like you are about ready to go, but sometimes you fake us out. We got a stag. We got a VIP stag here. Six glide, that's what got him the distance. What is that? The six glide got him the distance. My we, dish, bud. we got your spot. I'm really getting rasped by this guy today, man. <laughs> Picking up my desk, calling the clock. Who is this guy? <laughs> dude, the, he a year ago, he didn't even speak to other humans, dude. Well, say COVID changed people. We're going to play one through eight. Then we're jumping to 16. Kevin Jones, ace hole. And then, um, that didn't sound right. He dropped like that, huh? What the? <laughs> God. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh, that was real as it gets, guys. <laughs> as real as it gets right there. Oh my god. Oh, god. oh that looks pretty real. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> what the Dude, heck? that's my snake scream, man. That's you don't hear that. It's oh like my God. it's oh. very, very real. Shout out to Country Archer Provisions, mini beef stick, for sponsoring me someday. Appreciate that. I really do. This is nice. It's got a good flavor to it. It's not terribly dry, a little bit juicy. Has a tiny bit of kick to it, which my mouth is really enjoying. That's just uh, one of the possibilities if you work with me. <laughs> I'm pretty good with the words. <laughs> mm, this is good. If uh, Arizona Ice-T wants to sponsor me someday, have a lot of qualities. I'm from Arizona. I really enjoyed this fruitful flavor. It also gives you a crazy, a crazy amount of energy. Like, I was so tired, I could barely walk. Boom, one hit. Zap, ready to go. Ready to challenge the day. So, if you're out there, pretty good spokesman, too. Rockstar energy drink. Sugar free, so I can keep slim. Also, very good if you're a rock star, kind of like me. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I love the gold plated star for everybody who, you know, has those great platinum releases. If you're a rock star. Rockstar, if you're out there and you want to sponsor me, I'm a great spokesman, very smooth with my words, and it kind of matches the brand for how smooth this goes down. The energy it gives me really gives me the confidence to move forward with success, and that's why together our partnership could last a lifetime. This sure is a pretty green, though. Oh, beautiful green. Beautiful green. This is my favorite snack on the course. Special K, strawberry protein meals and bars. 12 grams of protein for those gains. You know what I'm saying? Delicious. Why would you do that? Gives me the energy I need to perform at a high level every single round that I play. And that's why a partnership with Special K, I feel like is in the mix for the future. I might eat Ruth Chris Over the bridge. Not only does it taste good, it's also a healthy snack, which means you're not feeling guilty while you're eating it on the course. You really feel like you're getting an advantage over the field. If you could have an edge in any sporting event that you're competing in, you have to oh, take like that. that and that's why this is I choose Special K, because I Hashtag always play with an edge. I, I ain't playing that anymore. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, oh, kind of like that. No, he didn't. The slip, roller eagle. Yeah. That was awesome. Special K. Special K. Gives you those gains. <laughs> One of the things actually about huh? Europe that yeah, I truly yeah. enjoyed was being able to get a fresh Red Bull. There's nothing. There's one thing about Red Bull that I really admire, and that is they say Red Bull gives you wings. And you might ask yourself, why, do you, why would you say that? Well, one thing is, listen, sounds like a rocket ship. Rocket ship might have little wings, but it has wings. I enjoy the fresh boost of energy I get from Red Bull. This can't be like a bad shot. And I already have wings. Completely fair. You want it back? 12 fluid ounces of pure joy. <laughs>
All right, the air shot was closer, but that was really good. All right. Let me get some. So, yeah, oh, Everybody no wants shot. a little. <laughs> Ask went, me why I'm parked. Why are you parked? Because Red Bull <laughs> gives me the energy I need to get it up the hill. Together, a partnership Actually, with that. Red Bull Energy I Drink, drink Red Bull my could run, make a lot of sense given the circumstances of me being really good at disc golf, oh, this so tasting say, delicious, we, together me, I saved mine. we can have wings that'll shoot us to the top. Contact my agent. Yeah. Need a break? Paul? Grab a Snickers. Oh, you're doing your little... Mmm, yeah, that's sorry. good. That'll Got turn any that. smile to even a bigger one. Two cents. Two cents. Oh, that is good stuff. Two cents. I, know, I was right? feeling a little angry. One bite of this cures all. That's why a partnership between me and Snickers could be a lifelong adventure of no downs, nothing but ups. Today, I take one step closer to my goals. My goals being being more happy. I don't need that Snickers in a minute because I'm getting angry. Come on, let's go. There's no way. There's no way he's going to make it. There's no way. <laughs> oh, he got it. That was 30 seconds already? Yeah, that was 30 seconds. <laughs> you guys were talking the whole time. I was distracted. <laughs> So that coming to mind when we did describe call. that whole thing, partner. <laughs> At least he has another 20, 20 seconds or so to think about it. What is he thinking about? Maybe he's hearing my voice. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, no. Faked us all out. Oh. <laughs> can you, can you repeat that? That's a good one. Nico! Yo. Ever want to see this one again? You want this one back or no? No. Alright. Alright, now you started something. You're not gonna be now you started something you're not gonna be able to finish. Uh oh. You went the wrong direction. You out said here, no, I you asked went the you. Wrong no. <laughs> No, 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 no. This is a battle everyone's want to see for a long time. You're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> well, at least I know I would hurt myself. I think it takes more than a clock to the nose to take Nico out. I don't know if Nico's ever been clocked in the nose. He's... If it doesn't kill me, you better run. Low, low key torch me. Why don't you throw the I'm a, I'm a biter, a scratcher, yeah. a win at all costs type of guy, dude. <laughs> she like, that's yeah, that's hard enough to clink my teeth, dude. Can't <laughs> 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 repeat that? That's a good one. <laughs> Again. <laughs> You're a gimmick. <laughs> Jakob in for a nice easy par. Magnus will take the par as well. Unfortunately, just a little low on that birdie putt. That branch is still. What do you? Oh my gosh! He killed the basket. I think the branch had something to do with it. What happened? Put it All right, the exact course maintenance. Same spot. Course maintenance. At least they're the last group of the day. That's uh. Basket down. Basket down. You just hit cage. Nah, he spit out. <laughs> Sorry. Bounce out. Oh. Yeah. Did you know that there is a way to get Velcro off silently? I'm thinking of whether I should show you okay. or if I should pull up the video. I'll show you. I'll show you because I actually have, you have Velcro. Velcro oh, yeah, you have the, yeah, yeah. the okay. Dickerson right here. All right. Yeah. We yeah. <clears throat> need a close up of this one. Kevin. I'll actually let him tee off. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's, it's going to be quiet, so why does it matter? Well, yeah, it's going to, yeah, you, you understand what you said. Okay. okay. So, like, if you need to be in a situation where the Velcro well, let's isn't first off, hear about how much sound does, okay, does Velcro yes, make? Yes. Okay. All right, that's quite okay. annoying. See? And if, if I'm in church, I'm not trying to have that much sound be made, that's for sure. See, hear that? Yep. Oh, awful noise. Right. Okay, ready? Ready? Yep. Ah! 
Did you hear the Velcro? <laughs> Not at all, Chris. <laughs> And Simon wipes out, however, the shot is up and over. We'll see if it can clear. Yeah! yeah. Well done. <laughs> and it's done just that. Looks as if he is 40 feet right of the pin after a slide here into second. It looks exactly like you're playing cornhole. Awesome. But he's doing it with the opposite foot. Right. So that's what makes it look so crazy. But hey, the kid's looks, got it working. It looks like he's tossing a beanbag playing cornhole. That's exactly the same motion. It is. Do something stupid. <laughs> Dude, nice putt, man. Thanks. Well, if you're learning how to do a jump putt, don't learn from don't that right learn there. From that. Really just stoked to talk to you. Um, first of all, congratulations with Las Vegas Challenge. Thank you. First big, huge win in the Pro Tour? No, but I wish. Um, sorry, runner up. That's runner my up. bad, excuse That's me. All good. But the pressure of being in that position is leading into my first question. <laughs> uh. You actually are going backhand line. I've never it's seen so this. Oh my gosh. I, I, I almost cussed and I didn't. Because that is just so. It's so. <laughs> gosh. Thanks. A re -tee. Yeah, re -tee. Smart. Wow, that thing has gotten caught. How about I just hit every little twiggly in the whole forest? Won't be in the way next time. Go roller. For me. There you go. Oh, that's over there with your first one. <laughs> <laughs> Did it just happen? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul, oh. you might need this. Here, I'll extend it as far as Oh, as no. Hey. <laughs> Here you go. Oh. And that's why we don't throw angry shots. Hey, just, it's just what happens to me. <laughs> it's just what happens. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, where is it? Oh my god, I can't believe this happened. You know, you know what I can't believe? <laughs> What's that? He hasn't found his first shot in the amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe that. That, thing kicked in, that kicked in Evan Park. Dude, how is it this far over here? That's just literally a 200 foot kick. I'm stuck. So Charlie with a look at it and he's mm. short. There's an anti fist bump, a little clench. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it was Good little shot down the middle. Let's take a look at James Conrad. Tee shot. Wow. Looks to be okay, but boy, that was a brutal fall, Terry. 
Yeah, and that is not the first one of the round. You're out in kind of a corner out here, and it's hard to tell what's going on with the wind, so that's the main that's the main play on this hole. All right, we'll crosswind. You don't have to putt within 30 seconds. You can come off it if the wind's not right. There's no, it's not PDJ. You can it's, take more time you if you want. You can do whatever you want. You can take a lot of trash talk. <laughs> oh. You can take as much time as you want, man. Okay, cool. Good I think friendly. people actually like watching people not putt fast. Yeah. That's why, that's why they all love Nico. <laughs> Instead, he's got a tricky 20 foot putt now. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. My. Wow. Literally. That was a boomerang. Yeah. Koda Koda was just playing some boomerang. And no, he's not. Uh, he's not reputting. That is where his disc landed. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hole that Eagle has struggled with in years past, along with this year. You can get tunnel vision looking through this little gap here. Whoa. Oh, disaster for Eagle. And oh my gosh, he is kicked right and good by whale sack. Yeah. Anyway, hole nine, fun part three, heavy disc golfer's favorite number. Always tough to watch. James. The players, including Gannon Burr, this was out on the basket for par. Okay. okay. Please tell me that wasn't live. <laughs> yes, it was, Simon. <laughs> really good bid in that wind from from range. No chance with that crosswind. You could see it just kind of blow out. James losing his temper a little bit there. Okay. It's dry. That's not a good throw. I can still throw it in though. Yeah, you, I think he's in. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure he's in. Oh, like the stage. It is, it is. He's three inches oh, yeah. all day. That's what she said. <laughs> that reminds me of one of my favorite old Snoop Dogg songs, man. <laughs> you, you probably nobody knows about it. Do you got a fresh pair of panties on? I got to know. You probably want to take that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got David's second shot after getting nestled in the bush. Not uh, watch closely. Up shot here. Oh, <laughs> no. Not. Oh, no. The craziest thing is that Dave even called this right after his drive. He said, oh, that's going to be an interesting upshot from there. Wait, what is this You didn't doing? know how interesting. It's a good question, Ian. <laughs> what is this doing? <laughs> This is nuts. Is that out of bounds? No. No? Okay. It's just moving about one mile an hour. <laughs> Forever. Uh, yep. He tried to shoot it. didn't work. <laughs> the rest of the guys are in stitches right now. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> they all are. I mean, Dave was laughing about it, too. Somebody needs to gif that and put it on Reddit, man. That was great. I'm all for it. Yeah. Gif it up. <laughs> That's highly gifable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see it, please. That was unreal. Look, it's gonna fall over like five, <laughs> five hundred times. This is like through the majority of the tree, dude. The tree, the tree. really trying to fight and claw his way back in this thing. Yep. Eagle coming back for his birdie as well. Eagle, you don't miss those. No, and he doesn't punch stuff usually too. I like the aggression. <laughs> Tiny redirect. Yep. He was almost home free without that, but that definitely oh, did he hurt. Oh, he definitely had a play. A great shot, hit the initial gap. He would have just probably leaked to about 20, 25 feet. This many skins on the line, plus that one CTP. 500 bucks now for these ladies to win. Let's see who's got it. Oh, foreskin. This <laughs> many. <laughs> <laughs> foreskin. About to circumcise this hole. Just kidding. Oh my 
Rick Waisaki, four skins deep already. <laughs> Should I redo what did it? You say? I said Rick's four skins deep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, keep it. I was it. No, oh, that's so funny. You didn't even stop laughing during the filming. I didn't know what was up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, no. oh, oh, no way. He's safe. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, how are you going to win? Uh, how you hey, gonna I'm safe. How did you hit that gap? How is he going to be four skins deep uh, and do that? <laughs> Good boy, Hogan. Good boy. Pierce, the long birdie bid on 18. Let's so move her into that second place tie. Look, get the dog off the course. Oh. <laughs> now, I think they're supposed to be on a leash. <laughs> dog gone wild. <laughs> She might butt despite the I dog. Think she is. <laughs> Watch it go in. Oh, it was close, I guess. Kev, why do we keep pushing all these holes for him? I well, know. you keep shaking him inbounds. <laughs> I don't know, Calvin. It's, it's not my fault. It, but you're the one that threw it. Yeah, but as soon as I shank it, I have no control of that. <laughs> it looked like he had plenty of chains. It did. Rick cleaning up his bogey. Stop a bleeding there. A little tourniquet putt. Yeah. He's going to have to get the wheels moving. Ooh, look at that fanciness, Rick. <laughs> wow. I would say Rick's usually known for, for fumbling the disc out of the basket, but he went ultra smooth on that one. That was incredible. <laughs> oh, Hand-eye coordinator, no eye coordination. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Bruce lead that thing behind his back. It's like the way Ricky is right now. Like No stress there. It's just it's got to go in. Of course, it's going to. Maybe he can't pick it up out of the basket, but hey. Yeah, not too much left for the rest of you guys here. Ricky, maybe about 15 feet, bumming around with the mini. And <laughs> cheesy birdies there. Oh yeah, that's a. You know, it's a. You, you look at that hole, and it's pretty simple. But I mean, if you miss that one, it's um, you know, you, you don't feel great about. Pretzel sticks. Yep. I haven't seen him come into play too much. Great looking putt from Ricky, straight into the headwind there. If you see past the basket here, that's pretty much what you're dealing with off the fairway on the entire course. It's thick, it's not pleasant, right. <laughs> and you're probably gonna get poked by something. <laughs> Episode for the three here is Drew just outside the circle. He likes it. He's walking it in. Oh, it's a little high. And oh, oh, so I'm put a banana peel out there, I guess. Gibson for birdie. Bit of a scary putt. The air ball. That's a very scary putty, and a lot of things could happen there. It's on a mogul, so it could roll any direction. You've got tailwind blowing, kind of a tailwind crossing even. I've seen these roll in the green too, mm. long and left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Disappointed I hit the stop button a little early there. That's a that's saving Terry. Where are you at? Oh, oh. <laughs> you just hit Zach. Don't even bother coming over here. He's got nothing. Might as well close his eyes. I mean, I was it. planning on it. Blindfold it. You'll throw it better. Good boy. That could be any better. That's amazing. I hate. Is it still me? No. Yep. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> hey, good shot, Terry. Good boy, Thanks. Hogan. Gavin, say good shot, Terry. Oh God. There oh. I go. Yeah, Clear Terry. Out. Did we get oh, that? Dude. Yeah, he fell. Come on. It happened in slow motion. You, you don't need to throw. You don't need to throw. Big germ. Is that the most winders you had on you at once? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. I really hope the answer is yes. God, that was impossible. <laughs> that was impossible. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, best right. Excuse me. I was just like stretching out. Excuse me. <laughs> so you never answered my question. I like, said it's the most I've ever counted. The most you've ever counted? Yes. Can you count? Cool. <laughs> And I think he executed his game plan on some of the toughest holes in the course really well. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of birdie coming up here to get. There you go, spinning it in there. After a rough stretch of four straight bogeys, he's able to at least take one birdie on 18 to finish one, uh, one over par for the front nine. Like, I think this is what Paul hears in his head when his disc lands. Oh, that's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong button. Is it this one? <laughs> <laughs> one more? Part three. <laughs> 558 feet, one of the toughest holes on the course. There's a bear. There's a bear. <laughs> There's a bear, I thought. You know, we oh. were actually going to do that for wow. you on your first putt today. Wow. I can't believe that backfired. Oh, that was close to being Oh, a... oh I should have made it. <laughs> I just heard something rumbling back, and, and I didn't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, geez, Simon. Wow. I scared him into making it. All That's right, how you time. represent That's pretty annoying for everybody. Canada and the Sweeney <laughs> on the including myself. practice round. Okay. Somebody playing through here, or <laughs> I mean, I've never seen anybody playing Crocs on the wow. Disc Golf Pro Tour. Unreal. A lot of words going through my head, but the loudest one is why. I'm thinking, why not? Yeah, ready to I mean... line up a birdie. <laughs> oh, look at this, Jeremy. We got a long-legged wading bird. Yeah, that's not what eagles normally do, but this one is out there trying to fish some discs or well, something. I mean, with those long, thin legs, the current almost doesn't affect the bird. So it can move upstream, it oh. can get in and out of the water gracefully. It can, I, ooh, gracefully. Yeah, and look, it got, and it's, got its, it's got its prey right there. Fish caught. Wow. Beautiful. How, how did he throw in the... I, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. Here's the run. We have a two-time world champion and four-time... GMC champion, sponsored by Dynamic Dicks, Discs. Let's give it up for Ricky Wysocki. <laughs> Into the green. Somebody can, yeah, reference that and just put Yuli's fingers over. And put him in the way again. Just do it one more time. Oh, the, I thought this was the truth. <laughs> Move this down. Yeah, it looks the same. Go for it. Oh, is it us? Is it the low left one? Yeah, I lost all my discs. You got anything you don't like in here? A really good line. Those winds are starting to kick up as we progress through this first round. Fox checking it out. <laughs> wow. Oh, I think it has a mouse. Did you see that? I did see that. <laughs> not interested in the disc at all. That's no, not edible. Not so much. Valerie. Got a snack for the... F oh, my Whoa. goodness! <laughs> it's not often you have a fox running through the fairway. Edition right. mode right yeah. here because James watched that, just walked right past him in his own game. Yeah. I would have been like... Uh, yeah, oh, nice eagle, shot. Yeah, eagle, oh, my goodness. Instead, James Great. goes straight to Orlando Broom and sweeps off the tee box. <laughs> this is a difficult... Anheuser shot. This is a par five. Yep. Yes. 
Oh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's been, it's <laughs> taken me a while. You've only thrown a couple shots, Paul, so you, you missed it. It's a good putt, but uh. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me Get pick. Out of here. here you go, nice putt. Get out of here. That's the way disc golf is sometimes. Oh, that's funny. Do I need to wait on you? That's or? a meme coming. <laughs> yeah. If that's not a meme. <laughs> Keen on to correct on the previous circle two putts. And James with the commitment that pays off circle's edge. All right. Sacrifice and taking a page out of Ricky's book. We don't have him here today to do it. James going to do it for him. Hole three. We've got a pretty straight ahead shot. Uh, yeah. And um, the players are going to be going over the top of a little OB ditch. Looking to move the basket or move the disc a little to the right. Can I? Uh, yeah, sure. It's, it's a part from mm. father. Wow! Over the OB. Yes, I'm so glad this made it in. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, the highlight of the oh. tournament, folks. So we taking a look as well, you know, the courtesy. I imagine a car or two has been blasted. Oh man, speaking of which. Yeah, because I actually threw <laughs> a skip shot on this hole. And um, yeah, I looked back and then I looked just got into my shot and didn't even see that truck like and then saw it as i released <laughs> man I, I was about to say speak of the devil because I, I guarantee you something's gotten lit up on that road at some point in time blue shirt ponytail rip mj right up the middle loving that spot big guy Speedy arm, clear one, zing. <laughs> Perfect shot. I didn't even watch it. Where did it go? It's great. Tree again, David. Was was not that good. Yeah. That's pretty confident right there. A Wasn't little look it? Off. <laughs> little look off. I'll the say. walk towards the basket, and you don't even look at it. Gotta love it. And to the left. So a really good flight for Ricky. He just needs that to get down. Is it in? Oh, <laughs> we had we had some excitement. We we had some uh, we had some manufactured excitement. Ricky's drive looked beautiful, but uh, he got faked out. We'll say a, uh, uh, a rogue Eric Oakley made some chain noises, and uh, that well, that's in his face. <laughs> oh, right Come on, Mr. Oh, yes. Charts. Mr. Yes. Charts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> No B, it's just you don't want to be down there because it's like literally like a slope like this. Yeah. Early. It like steamed. <laughs> it steamed blew out. His eyes. I, I saw Paul walking back. Here, here's what I saw. I was like, what the hell is he cheesing about? Paul That's what I was doing. Right, good luck with your shot. No the air horns are in the area. <laughs> I, I've got like a confusion headache. Right. <laughs> I don't have a headache and my ears don't hurt, but I'm like, you lived so it. I know. You lived it. Oh. That was you, <laughs> No. Rick. I didn't even know who did it. <laughs> I was two inches from your ear. Yeah, Paul just that wasn't rattled you out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Just oh, one more time. <laughs> He doesn't even know who has it! <laughs> Honestly, I don't want it. You don't want anything. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> Nobody's gonna do it. This is it's the, done. That was the last yeah. time. That was, was a good, good little It was humor. a one-time uh -huh. use air horn, that's right. it. <laughs> There's no way I can trust Disposable you. Disposable air horn! I'm gonna be throwing my shot like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to... <laughs> Disposable air horn, yeah. Disposable air horn. <laughs> oh. Alright, here we go. God, this is impossible now. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome for warming you up. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you clunk your feet together. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Albert's shot. Uh, he is in the water there, and there was a lot of discussion. We were trying to get a hold of a marshal, trying to figure out the best way to play that. Um, is You could play it right behind it, but it they deemed it kind of an unplayable lie, so you're going to see Albert just commit standing in the water, realizing he can't stand on the bank behind him, um, and it would be too far away, so he just commits to it, gets the feet wet. Kind of a weird thing. It, it was left up to the card, but... Yeah, pretty uh, pretty strange situation there. I believe he could have legally, without a stroke, taken it at the top of the hill since it's un... It, it doesn't matter. He made his yeah. putt, so nice birdie there from Albert. Yep. You see Joel here. He's trying to he's lock rattling. in, and man, he has put this in a spot where it's going to need a great break. <laughs> Actually, my goodness. Oh, wow, it's perfect. <laughs> That's it's, sweet. For a moment there. Yeah, that was that was scary. And Simon, let's see what he can do. Ah, and he even goes a little more inside. He's going to need this to hit a house to stay in bounds. And oh, no, that's great. Yeah, it hits the house right there in the middle. You can see the house. Yeah, that's a perfect shot, actually. I keep I keep kind of blowing the call here, but on this one, I am pretty sure this needs to get down. This is in trouble. This thing is floating on the wind. We've got, oh, man. Oh, perfect. Sweet. That'll work. Let me see. What is the <laughs> fairways hit percentage? Okay, it's pretty high. How? <laughs> Garrett wide with this one, and this is going to be a big skip. Can it stop short of the line? It's perfect. <laughs> I, I'm actually surprised only 94% fairways hit. I, I would have assumed this would have been a 99 percentile. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was good. That was good. Ooh. No. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> ah! No! No! Careful. No. What have I done? Solid shot by Steven. Also a bit short, though. You know Barella has more than enough power. And he's asking for it to slow down. But, unfortunately, the bush slows it down, which is OB. No, 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 no. <laughs> One of the rare times I find myself talking on camera. It's just such an instinct. To uh, let those kids know they shouldn't pick up the disc and throw them back. I guess they're just trying to be helpful. Oh, I did it again. Whoa, oh, redirect. I told you that sign was in the freaking way. Try this, it's better. Yeah, let me and try these that, fibers. Try this. Huh? <laughs> wow, it's a safety <laughs> starter kit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Let's try this. I brought that. I brought that because I knew you were gonna throw a mortar in a time when you shouldn't. So I brought that Firebird for you. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be hole one. Oh my God! Don't go in. I for sure didn't think it'd be hole one, but sometimes you get lucky. I don't have to carry the weight of it the whole time. But yeah, that's yours, man. Thank you so much. The Firebird? Yeah. Oh, that's terrific. Look at that two seventy like... distance. I need like a Firebird. Yeah, something. like a bluey purple one or something. I don't know. You know. Left that on hole one. You did not. I, did, I forgot. I didn't. I just got it. I didn't even know that I even had you it. You did not leave it. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, if that's true. <sighs> I know. I hate myself for it. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't want to even tell you. You need to be running right now. <laughs> that was a gift. Yeah, and he asked for it too. You wrote like, my name sure in the ring though for me before you gave it to me, right? No. And he said, make sure you bring me one. I was like, oh, I'll pick him a really nice one in a cool color, and I'll give it to him on the video. It'll be really cool. First hole, too. Unreal. Go in the water. Can confirm the Firebird is a good disc, though. Get, roll in the water. There's got to be some justice left in this world. You really got to uh, have a nice touch to compete well. <laughs> that got the good angle. Well, that was a nice bonus. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. Germ, you gotta see this. My God, he's augmented. What do you think we should do? The only thing we know how. Just hope that hard work pays off. A few moments later. Oh no! Yo, go. The farther into the woods. Kristen. Oh my goodness, that was forehand straight at the camera. It actually nailed the camera. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Come on. Give the rest of us a chance. <laughs> what? Jeez. Man. And this is why we film, Ben. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when 14 year olds are forward, throwing 430 feet. So we can go home and cry. It's now. time to retire, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. What was that? Oh was that? no. Jake. Oh no. Oh. Uh, yeah, what happened? To I, think, I think his hand just betrayed him right there. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Camera jitters? Mm. We'll, we'll call it camera jitters. Maybe. I don't know. Oh man. That's unfortunate. There it goes. Ah, he was mm. had a tap in birdie ends up with a bogey. <laughs> oh, that hurts, buddy. Oh yeah. man, get with those jumpers. Mm -hmm. Eagle leaving it short there. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. When it's going to come and from which direction? I think be a little warmer than it was this morning. <laughs> There's Cannon Bird. Well, the sun's trying to peek out here and there, and it, it does feel a little better when the sun stays out. He's coming for us, Philo. Well, he's coming for everybody. <laughs> yeah, he is. Youngest ever USDGC champion. Getting his season what? started here today. Get a lot, you know, fairway down the fairway, but is going to have a tester here. Chris with mm -hmm. the, what, 48 foot jumper? Yeah. Oh, oh, come on now. On your own team's player, Chris oh. Dickerson has. Come on, Prodigy Basses. You got to treat him Dude. better than that. Could it? Oh, you just. With your leader, Alan. This looks wide. Oh, oh no. That was 100% coming back in. 100%. She was going to have an eagle putt. That had a lot of oh. power still left on it and stayed OB those trees he'll be throwing his fifth and he can in fact save birdie from there uh, sorry bogey from there he would have to throw in from here to save birdie let's see if he can maintain his composure that looks to be a good angle it just cannot skip and it oh, does no. wow and that is exactly what's happened mcmahon's Next shot is he picks up his disc and he folds it in half and puts it back into his bag. Eagle McMahon very frustrated with himself. And that's the first real bit of emotion we've seen from, from Eagle that because he's just been so rock solid, just focused in the zone. Wow, back-to-back -back errors from McMahon here. I apologize for not recalling his name at the moment, but I know he has been out here a number of years calling off the players on hole number one. Great to see uh, last night. I don't know if you were at the players meeting. Didn't make it in town in town. Okay, did, not, late last did not see you. Uh, one of the cool features of the players meeting is they had the announcer from the Chicago Bulls call off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Should have been calling off Michael Johansson. They should have been. He's, That's... <laughs> he's used to a different MJ. <laughs> yes. There you go. Good call. <laughs> as yeah, as if on cue, our own MJ Michael Johansson throws in for his birdie for him turnover. What? Yeah. Let's take a Sandy Point Resort. Another look at this shot. Lines up quickly and just says, you know what? Putting backhand is too hard. Let's use the forehand. Uh, T of ten. Final nine holes out here in Vegas. We've completed the outward nine. Oh, 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 oh no. Get no. out of here, no, dude. No, Say it ain't no, so. no, no, no. Uh -oh. oh, God. Come on, man. 
I'm sick right now, dude. I'm sure Anthony Barella's heart just dropped down. Peer the gap and get a little bit of a forward skip, and you're going to be in position. Oh, where's PB going? Oh, right what? down the fairway. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> He can't even believe it. That is the funniest reaction I've ever seen. Just unfortunately on that bogey train. Yeah, had such a good round going too. Uh, Grady. Oh, he got attacked by wasps right here, huh? He got attacked by bees, yeah. Yeah. Or wasps, I don't know. Some singing flying creature. Let's come on the ground, it's usually a wasp. I don't know what it is, but that's inside the circle. I'll tell you that right now. Ugh, man. Yeah. So basically we're... Um, Papa Sexton was over there coaching him through it he's like just put your foot down i'll tell you if they get active he threw his foot down and kind of just rushed his putt a little bit and airballed it you can't blame the guy ah man that's such an unfortunate situation like mm -hmm. when does that ever happen and then have it happen to you just and 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 there's a three card backup on this hole in front of you so there's so many people around watching you get attacked by st flying stingy things well at least you have a lot of witnesses no that's good right yeah yay yeah. for your lowest point yeah and I just, as a, at least there wasn't anybody recording the situation. That's good. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> the worst angle to attack. Give it oh, a half go. You could give that a putt. Macbeth. Oh, this got this is... advantage of watching Drew's play. Don't hit a bird. No. Oh. Just kill the speed. <laughs> uh, we have seen some very weird breaks today haven't we we really have did you see what happened on the fpo side this morning no i did not yeah i wanted to talk i about was it. asleep yeah knocked out <laughs> Ooh, right in the tushy but that was going to go another 30 feet probably at least yeah Hi, I'm Nate Sexton, reminding you to play to your strengths. For me, that's the forehand. He's going to have to settle for a par at best. Still has a little bit of meat left on the bone. Ooh, and Ooh it, a scary one, but mm -hmm. it's in. <laughs> hey, Jay Risley, everyone. With a little dance. <laughs> oh, the ultimate troll. I like that. <laughs> You're not the only one who can dance on an 18-foot putt. I kind of actually forgot that I did that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just double joint lunch. Oh wow, that's not healthy, man. <laughs> Walk over to 14. Evelina did miss the par opportunity she had a moment ago, so this is for bogey. Wow, that putt was. No more than an arm's reach away. And that's just, that goes to show that mental lapse in her putting style. Look at this comeback putt that she's left with. Now this is almost exactly where she was two putts ago. And it's so sad to see her going through these putting struggles again this year. She was in the lead for the final round of this tournament last year. She was in the hunt all the way to, I believe, hole 15. And then all of a sudden, it was like a light switch with her putting and it turned off and then the tournament was out of her hands and there was no coming back. Done and well executed. <laughs> Some light Canada goose res. And a great recovery shot there. Those geese are lucky they weren't a half second earlier. They almost got Randy Johnson. Let's take a look at that again. 
smash and then <laughs> just barely <laughs> wow. missing. Are you want me to mark it? Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, man. You're welcome. World class marker right there. Yeah. Bam. Thank you, thank you. Am I getting a call? Oh. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Coach Haven. Who would have thought? Sitting here. Man, you don't even want to know what I'm talking about. Yeah. He said, what's up, though? He said, enjoy those wins, but yeah, you better not enjoy them long. Thanks, Coach. Yep, just put them in play like you told me. Just making sure I don't make no bogeys. I'm only sparing myself two this tournament. All right, cool. All right, get that assistant working. You know, offensive coordinator, he's young. Keep him on his toes. Till next time, Coach. Roll Tide. It's far too early for that. Oh <laughs> because there's also this guy, the Axiom Hex. This is prism plastic. Prism plasma plastic. What does that mean? <laughs> Someone explain, please. Um, oh, I think prism means that the outer rim is proton plastic. And plasma is, I don't know. I'm going to stop talking about that. I can't tell if that's Eric Oakley or someone more annoying. <laughs> Where are you at? I'm on the palm tree. Oh, that's Ob. Oh, oh man, that's Ob. He just bought a new house. It seems like it could have been cool. Nine under par, so great chance here for Oakley if he can keep this in bounds. And Terry, that's immediately left. That's overplayed, and watch out, head hunting. And it's going to hit one of our spectators. He hasn't little, quite been flashing the McBeast putts yet. Right, yeah. Oh, man. What? Left, I'm, I'm in the bush. I'm yeah. in the bush, and it's like chest high. And there's a bush like right in your face. Right. Oh my gosh! Just do it. Yo, oh, make it. Gosh. Oh my gosh. I wanted that one a lot. It would have been very entertaining if you made that. Well, if I would have taken like a fifth of the <laughs> time looking at it just to throw it, um, and uh, instead I've brought dishonor to my household. Uh, Johnny McRae's. Not happy right now, man. And my dad's not happy either. Is he's, he a turbo putter? Yeah, he's been turbo putting since like the eighties. Oh. And he's he does it he still does it regular regularly from like fifteen feet and in. And oh, oh I let you do it. Uh Seppo comes up a little bit short on his Simon comebacker. The win. <laughs> Simon is actually he's gonna maybe do uh what is that? Cirque, Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, he's doing. Not one of those holes where you expect to really ever get a bogey, but I mean, there, there is a car path. There is an under the leg putt. Yeah. That's, that, you know, that, I kind of like it. Oh, for sure. A showmanship. I love it. Oh, oh. Well. See, the artistry is just coming. Yeah, I was, wow. insp I was yeah. inspired. I See, mean, yeah. I never knew about that. That's just a new part of our game now. Yeah, it's if you're on video, the mm -hmm. tap out needs to be done with a little flourish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to work on some of that stuff, maybe off season. Because he makes a lot of birdie butts. He does, he really does. So, you, yeah, it's not a rare sight to see. Oh, look at this fancy play. Oh, these guys are really there you performers. Go. Thank you very much. There were two threes on the day on this thousand footer. Yeah, we need to set up. I got to set up my commentary partner here, making a three. Take us through how that happened. Rain has started to, to come down now, and it's it's looking like we're about to get hit hard. Yes. Greg, nice little putt there after his uh, kind of putter approach floated away. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. What a goofball. <laughs> I did not notice that, but that's... No, I didn't see that That's really funny. That's really great. Today, we're looking at at least three 
solid potentials here. In our, in First our, chance here by Lizotte. In our last eight tries between these guys, only Ricky and Johnny have gotten the birdie. Two out of eight. And Lizotte. <laughs> He may have just died. But that was uh, hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard to say. Probably a good thing he hit that. <clears throat> Paul going destroyer here. Oh, that's just perfect. He gets the perfect flip. Oh my gosh. He's got to avoid that tree. He did. Through a tree. Skip oh, three times. Oh my goodness. Oh, All right. That's a 12 footer for the eagle. There's his drive there. Yeah. You can see. Oh, look at this fella. <laughs> what is that? Oh. Oh. Weird how it skipped up under that rock. Right underneath it somehow. Looks like the cameraman called me out there. Thank you very much. Slow something else down, like a mid range. You yeah. know. Paul wanted to putt there, but I was like, dude, I'm out. You gotta wait. <laughs> That's you awesome. can have your cheers later. Let's see what he does with my, my rock gift. Just oh. give it back to the course. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Incredible. Uh, Nico for birdie. After a pretty good drive. Come on, man. Come on! golf is a mental game it's tough to let those things go and move on to start off with yeah and when overstable discs get flippier and they turn into rollers they tend to turn into the hugest rollers of all time what would you do if you saw a bigger roller right here right now i'd probably not believe it what if it what if a picnic table tried to get in the way but it just couldn't do it no yeah. way monster shot all of the 650 i mean he's basically pin high it's tough to find your rhythm from that range when every putt's a different wind right <laughs> centimeters from being in and there it is ian that's that's what those putts will do to you those little mistakes they just start piling on and piling on. Next thing you know, it's death by a thousand paper cuts. You know, you're out here bleeding out. A eagle's going to throw a grenade, and if you're if you're squeamish, you may want to skip a little bit ahead. As unfortunately, that is going to hit Catch Cam Dave uh, pretty squarely. Oh no! Oh gosh! Oh no! I hope he's okay. Oh my god. Oh man. Yeah, we need the report man, right is... now is that Dave is uh, he's doing well. He got a few stitches. Um, he's going to be off duty tomorrow, but we look forward to a speedy recovery for him. Wind picking up a little for AJ. Oh no. And look at that. <sighs> and for for all those at home, that does not Count. That does not that count. That is not a good putt. He's going to have to mark and, or maybe not mark. He didn't mark that one. He probably should. I but, think, uh, yeah. And he's going to have to finish the uh, finish the hole with another shot. Yeah. That's Brutal. a tough break. And it seems like that happens so much on camera. Like, I, I rarely hear about somebody doing that, and it's not, like, somehow caught on camera for everyone <laughs> to see it. I know it's happened to me on camera before. I've seen it happen to Nate Doss on camera. It's... It's yeah. pretty rare, pretty yeah, crazy. It's, and it doesn't even happen in practice. Like, it's just, it seems like that's a tournament-only situation. Yeah. <laughs> Catches and rolls off to the left quick. Luckily, it doesn't go in the water. But if you do have that forehand, it plays so much better for the second shot. As you see Chandler having to... <laughs> Look at the squirrel, dude. It's chasing. Oh, he wants it. <laughs> he wants that yeah. disc, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this round's had a little bit of everything, man, I promise. <laughs> I've never seen a squirrel get like that for a disc. That's insane. No, he ran straight to it. That was a big squirrel too, man. That thing went messing around. Uh, uh, ouch. 
for the sign. Wow, he smashed the sign directly in front of the T. So, Luke maybe is trying to make this a little bit more interesting. Ours be for Eagle. Oh my, and some. As he says. Oh, and Barsby was so close. What a stall on that putt. Barsby is in disbelief, and understandably so. He thought he had the Eagle 3. Good putt right there. There he comes coming in and tap in my birdie, Nate. <laughs> Paul doesn't like it when you outdrive him, Nate. No. Hey, it's a good call. He <laughs> yeah. found you and yeah. knew where to stand. Yeah. You should give him a raise. <laughs> a germ for the cleanup, too. What? Uh, uh, I don't even think he knows what to do. Ooh. Like, what do you do? There's all, oh, man, just uh, in front of everyone. I, um, oh, man. Kind of slid into the bushes there too, Ian. It's it, yeah, like less than ideal. Oh, Whatever is the least than ideal. I love. I'm the biggest big jerk fan ever, but that was one of the worst putts I've ever seen. That was terrible. Yeah, yeah. I barely hit chains. Um. That's a pump. That's unfortunate. A little bit high, but you know, he once again just not a uh, right to the pole and right out. And yeah. the best, like, all right, I gotta check this out. I know, I mean, exactly. Yeah, he, he spends a sec, like, okay, is this good? These Chris goed up? Is this tournament brought to you by uh, Pan or something? Or Pam? <laughs> I don't know. Some sort of another title sponsor? All right, he puts it in. He puts it a little softer. I think Beth was actually rigging the shades for Iggy to make sure his disc spit out. So. Yeah, yeah, right. Just kidding. <laughs> you want the shades? Yeah. Give okay. me those things. <laughs> Give me these things. These are actually better than real glasses because, like, they have the whole face to them. Yeah. When I bend down. We can't see how nervous you are about this putt. They're COVID safe. This is weird. I can't. There we go. <laughs> Oh gosh! <laughs> Woo! Dude, I didn't know you could do that. Dude. That was sick. Job we saw from Orem the day before. Still up the middle. And it sticks! What? Seriously? <laughs> Brayden just hit where Dylan's disc was in the tree. Or I'm talking about Trolls the movie? No, there was a conversation 
about whether or not he gets to play it from where the disc then dropped down after it was knocked out of the tree, or if it should be marked where they think the disc was and then go directly below that. So there was some uncertainty on the card. I wasn't about to interject, although I feel like I know the right answer. And they ultimately have now, we just heard provisional called. And so he's going to play it both ways, as if he played it from where it was directly below the disc or from where the disc ultimately hit and landed and was knocked out of the tree by Braden. The wind is trash. Actually, it's You're actually, it's good. You're trash. No, the mics walk now, so I'm not trash. Come on! Oh, oh my boy. gosh! Oh, wedgie! Oh! 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 Oh my gosh! Oh, what is going on? What is happening? The sky's falling. I for 48th place for Paul Macbeth. A lot of work left. Boy, Calvin, watch out. Back with Hannah to save her par. Hole 17. Ow. Uh, hopefully she's okay after that. Now that's got to be frustrating. Her putting has been so on point today, and now she's back where she just was moments ago. And she is frustrated. Hopefully she can calm herself down. She has been playing incredible up to this point. For bogey. Oh, no. One of the birdies, the two birdies of the day. Colin Hanley getting the other three. Oh, Deanne. Whoops. Happens to the best of us. Ouch, quad to oh. start. Gannon with the honors. Four, four, five, four, four. Four. Move. Come on, dude. Gannon gets way over on that, and certainly that sidewalk should not be coming into play. I can understand a little frustration. I think that was just a patron walking around that had probably no interest in disc golf from what it looked like or would be my guess. So unfortunate that didn't come out, but I'll also say he shouldn't be anywhere near that sidewalk at the same time. And Danny almost threw a left-hand forehand at it, but he goes right-hand backhand. Smashing that max at it. Oh, hold one. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Danny is having one of the strangest <laughs> tournaments I've ever seen. He sure is, man. That's like a sideways black ace. That's, That's like... what I'm saying. What do you call it if it's not in the ground? No, I don't even know. Oops. Ricky Wysocki Slammer OB Clash Disc Safe. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Um, I, I you gave me one out there at uh Georgia. Yeah. Did you throw it? Heck no, I didn't throw it, dude. I sold those things while the market's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I got that one practice throw in with it. That's uh, funny. Flipped it for a quick hundo. <laughs> Thanks. Now to wrap it up. Oh, and she's completely missed that. Again, it kind what? of stuck in her hand. Yeah, it was sort of a strange little release. No? She usually has such as... Um... Yeah, it looked a bit rushed, maybe. Yeah. She usually has such a smooth release. It seems to be sort of caught up in her hands. Oh, no, oh, she's what? missed another one. What? What? This is very um, peculiar, to say the least. It's un unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, no. No, come on. Oh, my God. A four putt to end the day. This is a completely unusual. Triple bogey. That was not. Triple bogey. Just. <laughs> what? 
my god. A wild Terry Miller spotted up on the green. <laughs> yeah, dude, actually. That's good stuff. Right up here. Well, you actually do have the Thera gun. Oh, you probably like it, like, right back here. That's why I get super sore. It's so much better when someone else does it. Uh, if you feel comfortable with it, that left glute is ripping. Oh, he's comfortable with it. Yeah. It's so Not close. a good shot, oh, Brad. Yeah, actually, down the left side. Oh, my God. <laughs> you just yeah. start throwing, like, Draw it in 400 close. feet further. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is weird. Dude, th thank Thank you. Morning. Hey, morning. Wow. I'm a brand new man. Two seconds later. Coming in low. I'm not going to lie. That is the first time I have ever recorded what is referred to as a black ace. Anytime you accidentally ace the ba a basket you're not going for or trying to get, it is commonly referred to as a black ace. That basket, as you can see, even had a black garbage bag in it uh, just to ensure that players don't play to it. Apparently, this basket had been aced three times this weekend. That's what uh, tournament director Sam tells me. So, <laughs> and now look at the obstacle that it remains for Luke. Uh, you have to mark your lie, and you you would treat it just like a tree. You're not you're not giving any any penalties. Uh, there's no other consequences other than. Kind of an awkward position. <laughs> Did I hit it? Yeah, you did. Well, that was actually a disc that had. This is this is a, a gap. scary <laughs> shot. <laughs> Oh, She's and that's smoking. a groundhog. Oh. There's a bunch of them out here. Yeah. Uh, he's got a little scratch on his back. Itch on his back. She's like, can I, what do I do? There's, there's a groundhog in front of my life. <laughs> I mean, just play the course as, as it is, right? I mean, she can't move the thing, can she? <laughs> no, I guess she can. She can try to get him there to move so she wouldn't be moving. There he goes, down into the river. We'll see if he pops his little head out there, working her. And she gotta hit that gap and then it's still gotta be moving left. No, I don't think we have one person inside the circle. Or no, we have one inside the circle, I will say. <laughs> and Drew with the absolute <laughs> dagger and did did he think he missed it or is he no i think there was maybe something going on between him and jeremy that okay more than anything like more like i told you i could do it sure or, you know we, this is definitely a card of of guys who like to shatter oh yeah no from that far mm -hmm. out that's hey, awesome. sean this is whoa <laughs> Nice, Sean. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the story here is that Bradley told Sean that he would give him $20 if he jump putt. His penalty stroke was on that side of the pond, obviously. And he would jump putt it into the water, which I'm sure we've all thought and joked about. But, but Sean took him up on it, and uh, he wanted to make the putt too, obviously. But yeah. it was funny enough that he just did it. So he made it easy 20 bucks. 
<laughs> and then goes and, and gives Joey a hug and yeah. shares the shares the love. So oh, that was that's great for the, the <laughs> cinematic feel of a Joe Mez. Yeah, Pro I mean we got the slow mes. our first ever jump put into a pond slow mes. Yeah, mean. and then of course Ryan's next and has the same lie and they try to talk him into it, but Ryan kind of learned. Yeah, he learned from from the the, the outcome there. He and, said, "I don't need twenty dollars. I'm just gonna make it easy on myself." Yeah, I think that's what they're kind of arguing about there. Like, why? Why? <laughs> Look at him. Look at Sean in the back. Yeah. <laughs> that shirt was white before he jumped in the pond, if you remember. Now it's a little tint of yeah. shade of brown. Yeah. All right. We have found Eric's favorite hole. There's Eric. Inside the circle, knock down birdie. Get a stroke on Eric. Mando. Okay. Natural nature of the, the course. There's not a lot of unnecessary out of bounds. Like, there's a lot of water that denotes that OB as eagle. Is that hit cage? Mm -hmm. Nicely well, done. Let's yeah. see how close that was to going in. Let's, let's uh, check that out here on the replay. And a little dick. I Forehand into the green from about level with it. Paul going to rip a force up the hill. And, ugh. Oh. Unfortunately, catching one of the Pro Tour cameramen. Uh, yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. That could have been pushing long into that branch and not had much of a putt anyway, but uh, never never something you really want to have to guess about. Able, so I'm going to go with my favorite destroyer here and try to throw a flex. Oh, man, that is how far is that? 460 feet? Yeah, get Over flippy. Water. Get flippy. Roll. Roll. Uh, harder than ever, but it's so close. Look at that. So close. I hope she doesn't forget to mark her CTP. Oh no! Oh no, that hurts in my whole body. Oh, she's laughing she... about it, but still, uh, that was nerves, if something. And I can't believe now she forgot to mark it as well. And I don't think she's allowed to mark it now when she has. Unfortunate moment there. She horrible, horrible. Yeah, she isn't allowed to mark it after. She would have been most likely having the CTP. Oh, guaranteed, because it's the yeah. last, last card. I think they should still give it to her, but oh. and now it's just falling apart. Off the hand. Give me the left. I'm, this is my right. Give me the left. You ready? You ready? Watch this. Are you gonna fart? No, I'm turning the same way as you. Do you see this hand? It's a, it's my left hand. Uh, yeah, you turned like you were just gonna go. Beep. No, I was I was making sure that you knew this was my left hand. Commitment. Yep. Zacharyth. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> I the like moves. the style. <laughs> I like the shot too. Uh I don't remember if he called bank. <laughs> I remember 